This meeting is being recorded. Hey everyone, it's Mary Jo, Michelle, and Sherry. Sherry is here too. She's Hi. Gonna, she's Hi. gonna, what are you calling yourself? Um, the recipe reader. The recipe reader. <laughs> because we didn't have a printer, um, we are at Michelle's house today. So we rotate every week um, and we'll be somewhere. You never know, we might be camping like last week. So we're making a strawberry galat and we're making the icebox cake, the Oreo icebox cake. So we're just going to start with, we started today with slicing our strawberries. We figured you guys don't need to see us do a whole pound of strawberries. So we put them in our, our um, help me out, the word. The batter bowl. The batter bowl, <laughs> yep. So the batter bowl. So we are going, Michelle's going to use our quick slice. You guys, this is the best thing in the whole world. Um, Michelle's going to tell you all about it. So, and with all the fun things we can I've do. had this thing forever and it's the first time I've used it and it's pretty fun. <laughs> so we're just gonna throw the strawberries in there. And just push it down and they slice right up. And you can throw peppers in there. Um, help me out. Mushrooms, oh, mushrooms uh, mozzarella balls, tomatoes. Um, tomatoes are sometimes a little iffy as long as they're not too ripe. They'll they so that'd be great for cool, like a um, like a fruit salad. They cut right into slices. Yeah, and then if you want to dice, you just turn it and and slice again, and you can actually we can dice. show them. Yeah, yeah. we'll take sure. one of the strawberries and we'll just put it in. Slice away, Michelle. Ah. And so then they're 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 diced instead of sliced. So that would be so. better for a salad. So that's yeah. good for salads and things like that. Yeah. Okay. So we're done with that piece. We can get that out of here. All right. Let me get my recipe. Wait, wait. No, I already know. Wait, no. Well, I have to be a reader. Okay. Go. That's her job. <laughs> <laughs> I got one job. Will you let me do it? Okay. Oh, uh, so combined sugar. You need three tablespoons. How about the cornstarch? Because that's in my hands. Oh, uh, whatever. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. So you guys were using the... Um, the measure all or no the um adjustable measuring spoons and just so you guys can see this it adjusts you've got little it shows you here so one teaspoon two and a half teaspoons all the way up to one teaspoon and then when you put it all the way down it is one tablespoon it is awesome you need one thing for everything and it comes in a smaller size as well it comes as a set so it's really great for those who don't have a lot of storage space because you don't need a uh, whole bunch of spoons. This okay, sugar no, or that sugar? sugar. Okay. Yep, and then you need three tablespoons of white sugar. Are you gonna freak out when I put this in there? No, not at all. Okay, okay. I don't use the sugar anyways. <laughs> we won't tell Samantha. <laughs> I was gonna say that would be a How many, question. three? Yep, one, two. Oh, you know what you need? We need a spatula here. Stir. All right. And then here, you want to cut the lime? Sure. So you're going to need a tablespoon of lime juice. So that's really Does it matter which way I cut it? Uh, yes. Yes. Very much. <laughs> Have you ever used the citrus press? <laughs> oh, dear. I thought. Oh, this girl's killing me. Um, you want to cut it this way in half? I have. And don't cut your fingers off. But Samantha has cut up doesn't. Now I remember. Yes, okay. I have you. So you don't want to cut the um, fruit lengthwise. You want to cut it in half when you're using the citrus. Okay. Press. See, I was just and testing. And you want it to be it. face down. Face down. And so how much do we need? A tablespoon. All right. So about not half. Gonna, yeah. Or not quite. Yeah. Oh, I cut them both. That's, I don't know if we needed both. That's good. But. That's about a tablespoon. I'm really good at measuring not. All right, so you're gonna mix that really well. Yeah. And it has to sit for like three or four minutes. And this is the basil that we're gonna chop up and put that in there. This came out of my garden this morning, you guys. So um, they said about five leaves. One, two, three, four. Five, you have extra basil. So whatever you're making for dinner tonight, you can add that. Okay. And have a dinner plan yet. the jury was out. I wasn't sure what to think of. So we're gonna use the chopper. And do we have the right, um, yeah, it will work. Right. What are you looking for? Ooh, there we go. All right, you guys. And then 
We're just gonna tuck that right in there. And they say you can tear it also. So if you wanted to take it, you just tear it apart. I didn't, I didn't have enough basil in there to really make it work. All right. And mix, then, it. Yep. mix it. Yep. All right. Oh, oh, I'm getting my job. Yeah. Okay. All right. I had to go get a you're, spatula. You're fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to bring the spatula. What do you want? Who, who else okay. is on here? I don't see it. Who else? Yeah. There's a like Anna Lisa, Anna Lisa. Kate. Um, okay. So now we're going to take the refrigerated now this, truck. Okay. This is, this is going to be a new experiment for all of us. Well, because, you guys, you guys, so this is our new sizzle skillet and it Ooh. is awesome. Uh, Sherry and I used it last week to make turkey burgers on the open fire up at the campground. And it comes with this awesome trivet. And you can use one side for cutting and the other side for, um, it's a, yeah, it's right side up, for maybe a charcuterie board. But it's perfect for when you're going to put a hot skillet on there. And then it's very good. on the grill the other day and it was really, really good. Okay, Sherry. Somebody gave me a tip too. They said use one side for hot only. So every time you take something hot off, use the same side because it will kind of indent oh. and kind of look at this. It's like a big, not necessarily big wreck the board, um, the board, but it will indent it and um, and then use the other side for your charcuterie. You or guys, it's like a big circle. Nice. Check this thing out. All right. All right. So we just have um, one refrigerated pie crust. All right, and then. You know what to do from here? We pour it in, right? Yeah, in All the right. center. In the center? It's what gotta if it's go right in the middle. What is <laughs> off center? <laughs> no. Michelle, help. So our, our strawberry basil things. um goes right in the center of Ooh. so the pie crust, crust was supposed to be 15 ounces, but we can only find 14.1. So that's why it might be a little bit small. Okay, then we won't put all of that in there. So what we did, guys, it said for one pound of strawberries. So we took the batter bowl and we weighed it on our scale, which is fantastic. Um, it's a digital scale. Can you show them how cute it is? Because it's just in case you can't see how cute it is. It's yes. really, really cute. See? And then we're gonna fold these over. Oh, somebody said that you can work on the egg while I fold this over. Okay, and then on the edge. What am I doing with the egg? You're gonna um, take, you're gonna use the egg. Um, Separator, separator. Just do the egg white. She's going to make an egg wash for around the crust. And I am just folding it over and pinching the little spots so it all stays inside. Well, we can put there the rest in. Separate it. No, we can put the rest in. Is that all I'm doing? Yeah, you're just separating the egg. And then so do you want to show them? Here, put it here. And the go. egg separator. Just left the yolk, if you guys can see, perfectly easy. That was actually my first time ever using that. That was pretty cool. And it just came out of the box. Show. She's not good at, at getting things out of the box. She's worse than Debbie Kimball. Well, no, not so. She's as bad. Samantha gets stuff out of the box, though. Thank God. All right, can you <laughs> mix the, with a fork? What am I doing? Um, <laughs> no, with a fork. No. <laughs> I, need, I need to get a for a fork. Well, yeah, I can use a plastic fork, right? Yes. Yeah. Here. Oh, here. So what they're going to do is just take some egg white and oh, do the it? egg white wash just around the outer you know edge of the now? crust. Oh, goodness. Okay. You got to go this way. Oh, I knew that. Okay. I was just testing you. <laughs> All right, girls. Um, once they do the egg, the egg wash, they're going to sprinkle the outside crust with sugar and then I'll show it to you guys so you can see what she did with the crust. Basically, she just folded up the edges. So all the strawberry mixture stays in the center and um, the crust kind of holds it into place. And we preheated the oven to 425. It goes into the oven 425 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Let me just make sure that's no, correct. No, 28 to 30 minutes. Oh my gracious, yes, 28 to 30 minutes. It's gotta go in there for that long. Wow, I didn't realize that. Okay, um, so and then we're just gonna take a pinch of sugar and we're going to sprinkle it on the outside. Cause you know, you gotta have enough sugar. <laughs> it looks so pretty. It does look pretty. Okay. And Sherry's going to show you before she puts it in the oven. This is my Vanna White moment. Do you see? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, 
Doesn't that look amazing? You guys, we will put pictures in, right? Yes. You, yes. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to pop this in. All right. So we don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. And we're going to go on to recipe number two, which is so easy. Oh, uh oh. You use my, that's for the whipping cream. Oops. Whoopsies. All right. So, how are you guys doing today? Where's my Annalisa? It's not a good day. Okay. Um, do you want to rinse this, Sherry? Yeah, I can. Oh, no, we don't even need to. You don't need that. No. All right. So, now we're on to the Oreo. Do you guys, these measuring cups, you guys, I don't know if you, the easy read, they are at an angle, the, the uh, measurements are here. You can read it from the inside and the outside. So when you, it is so much easier to read. You're not like going down and trying to figure out how to do it. So and they have other sizes too. We have one of them over here. Where's my little one? Here's a really tiny one. You can oh. see that. And then we have That's this one. Favorite. It's cute. Then we have this. So we have all these different little sizes. I love them. So Sherry, how much cream do we need for the three cups? Three cups. All mm -hmm. right. So if you guys haven't seen our Flex Plus yet, it's just like having a real power tool in your kitchen because it runs off of battery. So um, two batteries come with it. So you can always have one charging. So no matter what, you'll always have one. Comes with an immersion blender, regular um, mix it, mi regular mixer and also a food processor. Okay. So, so it has a safety button on it so that you don't go crazy with it. And you push the safety button in and you can turn it off. Whoops. Oh, Before, we gotta, well, you gotta add the sugar yes. and the... Um, and how much sugar? A third of a cup, right? Yep. Third of a cup oh, of sugar. confectionery yeah. sugar is what they recommend. And I always used to do regular sugar, but um, confectionery sugar, I think is a little more concentrated and it's powdered. So it melts really easily in there. And, vanilla. I know there's vanilla and then sugar. vanilla right here. And how much of this? Um, a third of a cup. You probably don't measure the vanilla, right? No. So well, it does really say one teaspoon of vanilla, but Usually. So that's good. Yeah. And just so everybody knows, I measure everything. So that's driving me crazy that she's not. Oh, she came to my house the first time and we were making something and I didn't measure. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, was the, it was the, the it was stuff when the air fryer came, first came out. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It was very funny. She almost had a heart attack. And you can push it down. You can tap these guys like con confectionery sugar. If you tap it. Can use a little more. Plop. All right. So now you just going to do this. You haven't used it yet, right? I have never used this thing. All right. So first of all, make sure you put the blender in here first. You're going to push the emergent the the safety button, and then you're going to turn it on. That's it. You can turn it on high. Yeah, you can turn it on high now. And just a little tip, um, if you put your whipping cream, whatever amount you need, so for us, we needed three cups. If you take your whipping cream, you just pop it in the freezer for five to 10 minutes before you start blending, you are going to have whipped cream so fast, you're not gonna believe it. We didn't actually do that, but it's a really great tip. Which one? Um, to put the um, cream in the freezer. Just it's really only five to ten well, minutes. It doesn't I take it long. Now, what you want to do for this recipe is um, this is the Oreo cookie icebox cake. You just want to have soft peaks in the whipping cream. You don't want it to be too whipped, which I think that's perfect because you want the Oreos to absorb the cream um, and get get nice and soft. Do it slowly to get all the extra. And if you want to drive Michelle crazy, you can turn it on high and it can go all over the kitchen. But we won't do that. <laughs> all right. Michelle, all right. you're on. So what do you got, Michelle? I have our rectangular cool and serve. 
And it actually comes with um, ice packs that can go in there, um, but we're not going to use ice packs today. They're we don't need it. Oh, going to go in the fridge. So this piece comes separately. The ice packs go right in the bottom. This this particular piece is fantastic for desserts that you need to stay cold in the summertime. Or, 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 or salad. Salad or Mexican 30 cookies. cookies on the bottom. 30 cookies. Count. 33. 33, 33 cookies, cookies go on the bottom of the cool and serve. This is well, the she, easiest dessert ever. She, while she's doing that, I'm going to show you guys how easy our whipped cream maker is. It's super quick. Um, I'm not going to add, well, maybe I'll add a little sugar because we're going to put this on top of the uh, galette. galette. I'm not going to do a whole, well, sure. Why not? All right. That's the whole thing. And you want a little vanilla in there. and a little vanilla. So just so you guys know, there's a little line right here, and if you push it, um, and if you put the cream that have um, whipping cream to that line, it will fill pretty much to the top. Oh, definitely to the top. Um, and you put a little bit of vanilla and a tablespoon or two of sugar. That's all you need. This is awesome for like a quick fix. You don't want to pull out the mixer. You just need enough whipped cream for breakfast, waffles, or or some kind of dessert and again i always put the whipping cream in the freezer to use this because that's yes. just going to make your life really simple so i'll move that over there okay can you guys see the, can they see i can't see that front yes okay yeah. and then you just pump it I think we're just about done. And you can tell when the whipping cream is just about done, it gets hard to, to mix. No, and then you know it's sticking the time. We love our ice cream, our cool whip maker. Uh, okay. So, and then. Oh, yeah. Can you show it to me? Uh, yeah. Oh, you over mix. I over mix. You can make She's butter. She's going to make butter. You can make butter. <laughs> well, Samantha's made homemade butter, and it was so good. And you can add. So the cream. I am. You know, we'll just breathe. Okay. You show. You guys, this is like really thick. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, we'll move that over but here. But throw it in the fridge so it'll stay cold. Yes. Okay. No now, problem. Sherry. Yes. We just put a little bit, a couple dabbled Luya on top of the Oreos. Half and, and half, because you're doing two layers. So you're gonna put half the whipping cream on the Oreos now. Do you need like a big spoon? See, big. this is why we do this. You can see that when you're in the kitchen, a regular kitchen. You forget things. So half of the whipping cream goes on top of the Oreo cookies, and then you do another layer of Oreo cookies, 33 cookies. Well, it says the recipe says 33 cookies, so we want to be exact, right? I did put 40, 33 on there. Are you managed to get it? Managed, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe. Give me that thing. She's making a mess. So we we love to show that anybody can do this job because um, Miss Michelle yes, Pratt doesn't have. really cook, but she's a great yeah, favorite usually, chef. And so. <laughs> usually my daughter does the cooking and she doesn't want to come in the kitchen to help me when I go live or on, on Zoom. That's she's, okay. So hiding she, in the corner laughing. She's laughing at us, not with us. That's right. <laughs> no, she's laughing at you. <laughs> yes, she's That's definitely right. laughing at you, not with oh, you. Yes. Yeah. No oh. doubt. Okay, I hear a dog. Yep. Is there a puppy? The neighbor. Oh, the neighbor's puppy. All right, and then how many Oreos do you put on top again? Just just layer the whole bottom. I mean, the layer, layer on again. the whipped cream. And you guys, so um, then you do another layer, so it's kind of like an Oreo lasagna. Um, and then you top it with maraschino cherries. You put it in the freezer, I mean, in the refrigerator for four hours so that the whipping cream can soak into and the Oreos, Oreos and get them uh, nice and soft. Okay. But you can also then pop it in the freezer and make it, make it an ice cream cake. Oh, yeah. This is the ingredients for ice cream. Yeah. Whipping cream, confectionery oh, sugar, and no, um, vanilla is our recipe for um, ice cream, homemade ice cream. So... So it can be an ice cream cake, you know, however you want to do it. Super, super, super so 30, easy. I mean, can you get it easier 40, than this? 40, this 40, is crazy. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Does anybody have any questions with what you've okay. seen so far? 
just so everybody knows, there are 45 cookies in an Oreo box or an Oreo package. Oh, I just, knew that one wasn't going to cover it because I was like, I don't know if that's going to be 66 cookies. No. Glad I got two. So you could probably get a family pack and a regular pack would work perfect. Right. Yep. Oh, man. Now we're going to have to move them over. Doesn't have to be pretty. Well, this is like the easiest dessert ever to make. Yeah. Michelle, you can make this dessert. <laughs> yeah, Michelle I'll, can even do it. All by myself without you guys helping. And um, I can't eat gluten, so I can't eat this. But all of the people I know who have eaten it say it's amazing. Few consultants have made it. Somebody made it this weekend, and I didn't eat it. I was trying to be a good girl. Yeah, that was the Oreo lasagna. Yeah. yeah. All right. So... Now we're going to top it off. Now, I just want to share while she's topping that off, you guys. Some of these, you know, higher price items like, say, the, um, the Flex Plus, it's a perfect host um, gift because you can get it 50% off. And all of the higher price items, I was actually... Um, a host for 15 years before I actually signed up to be a consultant because I never ever wanted to pay full price for anything. So that's just food for thought. If there's some things that you're interested in, just reach out to your consultant. And you don't even have to do a big party. You could just yeah, because it, it can be links. very small. Small. We have started party. a new thing. Ask your consultant about the new parties that are not on Facebook. Yeah, they are so fun and they're quick, and you don't really have to do anything. So that's just, you know, food for thought. Uh, if you want, you know, we all have big wish lists. My wish list is always bigger than my wallet. That's why I actually had to join Pamper Chef because hubby said I couldn't buy it anymore. <laughs> he said, you have to start selling it and stop buying it. So I actually had to do that. And then so, I joined because Sherry wouldn't leave my house until I signed up. Just I kidding. love how she says that, but it's not true. <laughs> it is not true. She came over and made the rush hour fajitas and I was hooked. Yeah. So... That All right. awesome. All right, you guys, and now a little cherry with our mini. These are so cute. These come, what do they, they come with something. What do they come with? Well, you can get them by themselves, but they come in a set too. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you just shop does yeah. not like cherry, so we're only going to put it on half because this is yeah. staying. Or not even else. half because she doesn't. We just wanted to show you because it does make it look really pretty. It looks pretty. so pretty. Are we throwing this out after we make it? Everybody no, knows. the cherries. The cherries. No, the cake. You're like, I'm not eating it. Mary Jo was like, I'm not eating it. I'm leaving it on Michelle. Well, <laughs> Michael will eat it. Yeah. And then <laughs> clean off the edge, throw the top on, and put it in the fridge. And put it in the fridge. Where's your That's top? it. It's yeah. a no-bake, awesome summer recipe. So sure. that would be fun to bring to if you're invited to a cookout or something. Yeah, bring so it like closer so you can see how pretty it is. So, yeah. Not pretty. Now imagine cherries are all the good. That would be so. Oh, cute. and you can crumple some Oreos and put it on oh. top too. That's that's Ooh, what the recipe that's shows. That's a great idea. Do you want to? Do that? I didn't read. The, I'm really bad at being a recipe reader. <laughs> yeah, you're not a good recipe reader. Yeah. So Sherry is not getting that job anymore because that would have been more pretty with the Oreo crumbs on it. Shall we? Well, make you up? can still do it. Let's do it here. Right, and we can show the. Um, we'll use we'll use this. I was gonna say we can do the New York process. I'm just trying to do that. You want to do the mayor food fasters? One more well, thing. Do that one because that one's already dirty. Yeah. It might have some basil in it, but that's okay. So we'll just pop some cookie crumbs on the top. So who has any questions? Anybody? I'm going to stop the recording in just a second so that you guys can um, feel free to chat. But let me. There's some sprinkle. Let me go ahead and. 